Today, I'm going to show you how I make my oyster stack snack. It's great for pregnancy. And believe me, smoked oysters are so ugly looking, okay? So don't go running for the hills yet. Just trust me, try this. It's delicious, it's nutritious, and it's gonna pack you with nutrients for you and your little baby. And if you're not pregnant, just try it anyways, okay? I'm Julie Bauer Roth, the food, fitness, and lifestyle blogger behind Paleo MG. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to share my favorite wellness, food, and fitness tips to help you live your best damn life. Today, we're going to talk about snacks, but specifically an oyster snack, a smoked oyster snack. Okay, smoked oysters, they come in this little can, just like tuna, and I feel like I never in a million years thought I would eat these, never. Why would I eat these? Why? They are so ugly looking, okay? They don't smell great. They don't look great. Why would I wanna eat them? Well, once I got pregnant, I know I talk about pregnancy in every video, okay? But once I got pregnant, I wanted to learn more about nutrition and what was best for me and my growing little girl. And I found out about smoked oysters. Smoked oysters are packed with so much nutrients, tons of vitamins and minerals that are going to help your body work how it's supposed to. Are you ready to find out what oysters contain? Cause it's a lot, let me tell you. Oysters contain vitamin C, vitamin D, B12, iron, zinc, phosphorus, copper, magnesium, and more. Even things like niacin. It has so many vitamins and minerals, all packed in these little, tiny smoked oysters. So if you're anything like me, about six months ago, you didn't know what any of these actual vitamins and minerals did for our body, but they are so important. So let's start with B12, because B12 is one of those things I knew nothing about before I got pregnant, and now I know way more than I used to. B12 is really important for maintaining a healthy nervous system, but it's also known to prevent spina bifida and other spinal and central nervous system birth defects in the baby. Not only is it going to help you out with all your nervous system, but it's going to help your baby grow in the best way possible. Now let's talk about zinc. Zinc has become my new obsession. During this pregnancy, I started breaking out in this weird rash all around my nose and my mouth. And I just thought I had used some sort of product that irritated it, but come to find out, I was dealing with perioral dermatitis. Luckily, I had this amazing follower named Lindsay who reached out to me and told me zinc was so good for fighting inflammation. So not only getting zinc in your diet, but using zinc-based products on your skin. I cleared out all my skincare, I started using zinc-based products, and I was able to clear up my perioral dermatitis within a month. If you wanna find out more about that, I have a blog post all about it. I'll link it below. But zinc is amazing. It is a mineral that plays a significant role in building your baby's DNA and your baby's cells. Mind-blowing. We always look to get zinc through supplements, but there's so many foods that have zinc in it, including smoked oysters. And the last mineral I wanna talk about is copper. I don't think I've ever thought about consuming copper in any way, ever. It's just never popped in my mind, and now I think about it every single day. Smoked oysters, bee pollen, those are great sources of copper, and copper is essential for forming red blood cells. Now, when you're pregnant, your blood volume increases from 30 to 50%. You are filled with blood and filled with fluids. I know that too well. So you wanna make sure you're getting plenty of copper in. Copper is going to help build things like your baby's heart, blood vessels, skeletal, and nervous system. All these things, B12, zinc, copper, and a ton of other things are so important for your body, but so important for your baby's growing body. So let's get into how I build this little snack, this stack snack. It's what I like to have every afternoon. It's a great little source of getting tons of vitamins and minerals in, and I think it tastes really good. Hopefully you do too. So it's gonna start off with some crackers. I like these Milton's gluten-free crackers, but another slightly cleaner source is going to be these Simple Mills grain-free crackers. Gluten-free, grain-free, they're both delicious. Then of course, we're gonna use some smoked oysters. So these are Crown Prince natural smoked oysters. They're in olive oil. And then I like to use some hummus. This is my favorite hummus. It's called Falafel King. I get it at Natural Grocers. It has a garlic hummus that is just 
so good. I just feel like so many hummuses out there are really grainy. And whenever you buy store-bought hummus, it doesn't have that smooth texture that you would get at a Mediterranean restaurant. And this hummus has that. So highly recommend trying it. Then you're gonna need some cheddar cheese. I like to use raw grass-fed cheddar cheese. This guy, easy peasy. Just need a couple slices and hot sauce, okay? I don't know if you're anything like me pregnant, but I want everything spicy. I bought a giant container of hot sauce on Amazon and then I just refill my own into this little squeeze bottle. I had to cut the top off to make sure all the seeds fit through it, but it's a great little hot sauce but you can use whatever hot sauce you like. Now, smoked oysters come in this little can if you've never tried them. I know I hadn't before pregnancy. <laughs> and so you just peel it back. I always get so scared that I'm gonna just get oyster juice all over me. <laughs> Gross. There we go. Look at those. Oh God. <laughs> great. That's, that's gonna smell great. Now, get your cracker out. Oh yeah, that smells ready to go. Now we're gonna do a little dollop of the hummus on top. Look at that. Okay, easy, beautiful, stunning. Now I like to do the oyster. Let's get one. She's nice and cute right there. <laughs> Here's our oyster, ready to go. Now, oh! <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> okay, we're ready. Now we're gonna do cheese. Cheese stacks right on top here. Okay, there we go. And then I like to pour the hot sauce all on this. Okay, pour it on. Don't be shy, baby boo. You can see that. There we go. Okay. Then literally all you have to do is eat. This is. <laughs> This is the easiest tutorial I've ever seen. Delicious. Now my face is starting to get red from the hot sauce. <laughs> I always finish the snack with a bright red face because the hot sauce likes to smack me in the face for a second. I know this isn't the sexiest snack. It's not one of those foods you see on you know, one of those food porn sites and you're like, oh my God, I cannot wait to try that. No, it's so ugly. It doesn't smell like this floral, sexy fruit. I don't know, you know, it doesn't smell good, but it's so delicious and it's packed with nutrients. And one of the things I try to remind myself through all this tough pregnancy symptoms I've gone through, whether it's perioral dermatitis or sciatica or back pain, or <laughs> I don't know, a million other things that happen when you're pregnant. The one thing I know that I have control over now that I'm out of the first trimester is the food that I put in my mouth. And I know that this snack is going to be packed with nutrients. It's going to keep me full and satisfied. And then it's going to give this little baby so many nutrients to build strong bones, to build a strong nervous system, to build these cells, and so she can come out healthy. And that feels so good. When nothing else does in pregnancy, that feels so good, and I hope it does for you too. So hopefully, you try the snack and you enjoy it. Make sure you find a hummus that you love, a cracker that you love, a cheese that you love, and then hot sauce that lights you on fire. I mean, if you don't like hot sauce, mustard is a great option too. But make sure you find ingredients that all taste great together. And then the oyster is just a little added boost of nutrients and protein at the same time. Now, if you're looking for even more pregnancy recipes or pregnancy food, I'll have a blog post that I'll link below with a ton of pregnancy friendly recipes. And I know some people might think this is a weird pregnancy craving. I'm not craving this, I promise you that. But I would love to hear from 
from you. Have you had any pregnancy cravings that you had to have something that other people found a little strange, like a smoked oyster? And if it wasn't even a craving, if you were just trying to get nutrients in, I'd love to hear from you. Just leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, meaning it helped you find some new information all about pregnancy nutrition, give this video a little like and don't forget to subscribe and so you can hear even more from me and I can hear even more from you. Next, I'm sharing a few more videos I think you will like, so stay tuned for that. I'm Julie Bauer-Roth of PaleoMG. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.